Dear friends, today we are discussing about strategies for improving reading and SQR 3 study technique. Does your child struggle with reading skills? As parents, we naturally want to help our children to learn. There are some strategies you can use with your child at home that do not involve direct instruction and are unlikely to conflict with the strategies your child's teachers use at school. Providing this additional help will over time uh, dramatically improve your child's reading skills. Easy re reading strategies for parents to use at home. Uh, participate in library uh, reading programs. Most library offer organized reading programs during uh, school breaks for students based on their school levels. Many of these programs are themed and showcase some of the best works for children and young adults. The library staff may host activities based on books and have special events and field trips designed to help students explore the literature on a deeper level. Librarians are usually happy to help your child and can help find ways to involve all levels of readers within an age group. Then second one is explore different forms of reading material. Check out works in both their book forms and book on, book on tape, CD or digital recording forms. Many of the highest rated literature for children and young adults is available on tape and, uh, and in book form. By having your student uh, uh, read along in the book by listening to the same book on tape, you are providing excellent reading benefits. The student sees and hears words and phrases together and a good way to reinforce a sight word, uh, for a sight for word recognition. Your child may also benefit from assistive technology such as text readers. These methods provide the student exposure to work uh, he, might, uh, he might not otherwise choose to read because, the dif because of the difficulty. He can gain knowledge of this content and increase vocabulary without having to struggle through the book and perhaps uh, be discouraged. Then compare books to film. Have you uh, have your student read a book and then check out the video version of a book. Talk about the similarities and differences in the two mediums. What did she like about uh, each form? Why, what did not she like? Did she prefer the book or movie and why? Study reading vocabulary. As your student uh, read books, have her make a list of words that were difficult or unfamiliar in the book. Make a flashcard of these words. Spend some time together talking about the meanings and looking them up in the dictionary. Take turns showing uh, the cards and guessing the words and meanings. As the student masters each word, remove it from the uh, deck and put it in place of honor. When the whole deck is mastered, uh, celebrate with a special reward. Then strengthen spelling skills. Use the same deck created in number uh, 3 or above. Have your children learn the spelling of each word. Practice the spelling when your child feels ready. When your child feels ready, have him write the words on paper. Give him a reward for each mistake he finds and corrects. This is a great strategy to use throughout the year. It teaches students to self-correct and also reduces their fear of trying to tackle difficult words. Young students may enjoy using multi-sensory techniques for these activities. Read the old-fashioned way. Take turns reading passages or allow your child to follow along as you read. Uh, then uh, compare others' books. Have your child re uh, read two books by the same author. It is a good idea for you to read them to so, so you can discuss them. Compare how they are similar and how they are different. Which did you and your child like best? Why? Most important, remember to keep your reading activities at home stress-free. Use mistakes as teachable moments. If your child gets tired of reading, take turns or take a break. 
for most elementary aged students with learning disabilities about 15 or 20 minutes of reading at least three days a week is a good place to begin if your child wants more time then allow that to happen if your child becomes frustrated and has difficulty focusing for amount of time shorten the time and consider a shorter text or lower reading level then activities uh, like these are important for children with learning disabilities because they involve reading in a low stress enjoyable situation low stress enjoyable situations using these strategies regularly with your child will build skills and encourage them to see reading as a rewarding activity is your child still reluctant to read if so try these uh, try these tested and effective strategies then next topic is what is uh, the sqr3 method and why was it developed or how was it developed sq3r3 is an acronym for a five step reading and study method originally suggested by francis pleasant robinson in his book effective study in 1946 robinson was a professor of psychology at ohio state university during world war ii droves of army personnel were sent to colleges and universities to attend intensive training in skills relevant uh, to winning the war robinson headed the learning and study skill programs at osu and based on his research devised the sq 3r method and other techniques to help military personnel to learn specialized skills in as little time as possible in his commentary ahead of veterans day in 2002 thomas this street called the the reading formula that helped win world war second the method offers a more efficient and active approach to reading text materials it was created for college students but is extremely useful for young students as well classroom all over the world have begun using this method to bet better understand what they are reading then a uh, multiple spins of the sqr sq3r method including pqrst and sq4r have subsequently have been suggested let us come to the process survey survey is uh, this is acronym for s uh, students review the text to gain initial meaning of the heading bolded text and charts the first step survey or skim advises that one should resist the temptation to read the book and instead first go through a chapter note headings subheadings and other outstanding features such as figures tables and summary paragraphs this survey step only take three to five minutes but it provides an outline or framework for what will be presented the reader should identify ideas and formulate questions about the content of the chapter next q, q for question generate questions about the content of the reading for example convert headings and subheading subheadings into questions and then look for answers in the content of the text other more general questions may also be formulated what is uh, like uh, questions are like this what is this chapter about what question is uh, this chapter trying to answer how does this information help me the questions step again only take three to five minutes to complete but it will it will motivate the reader to seek answers to the questions uh, next is, uh, uh, second one is r means um, uh, read use the background uh, background work done with s and q in order to begin reading actively this means reading in order to answer the question raised under q passive reading in contrast results in really merely reading without engaging the study material the, uh, recite is the another one the second r refers to the part known as recite the reader should try to retrieve from memory what was learned in the same manner as telling someone else about the information it is important that reader use his or her own uh, words in order to formulate and conceptualize the material try recalling and identifying major points 
and answers to question from Q steps. This uh, radical uh, uh, recital step may be done either in an oral or written format and is related to benefit of uh, retrieval in boosting long term memory for the material. The next one is uh, a review. The final R is review. Once you have reached the end of the passage, say back to yourself what the point, the point of the whole passage is, again using your own words. Then six stages of effective comprehension. Uh, best process of effective comprehension suggests that six stages of better understanding of a topic while in learning process, knowing versus understanding with time uh, making with time management now you can watch about sqr3 method sq3r is a great reading and note taking strategy why do you need a reading strategy well how many times have you picked up a textbook read for a while and realized that you've not remembered anything you just read using the sq3r method helps you remember what you read so you can get wonderful grades and do well in all your classes that test you about information that you've read you should use this method for any textbook reading and for any online or print articles that you read or use for research in any of your classes. The S is for skim. Before you curl up with a blankie and hot cocoa to read, take a moment to skim over the entire text. Skim means to look something over at a bird's eye view. Look at main headings, bolded words, and any pictures or diagrams. This will give you an idea of what the article will be about. This also helps you know what to expect and hopefully will trigger some background information you might already know about the topic. The next step is to ask questions. Asking questions helps you pay attention better to even the most boring reading assignment because you are essentially on a mission to answer the questions you have asked yourself. If we have a purpose, we are more purposeful. You should write down any questions you have and turn headings into questions that you must answer by reading. The first R in the three R's is to read. You're now going to answer the list of questions you've created by actually reading the text. The next R is to recite. In this case, it is not only okay to talk to yourself, but actually encouraged. Take notes on paper as you read and say the answers to your questions out loud if not too many people are around. Put the answers to the questions you've answered or the important points you've discovered from the reading into your own words. When you put something into your own words, whether in writing or by talking to yourself, you're more likely to remember it later. The final R and the final step in the process is to review. Read through your notes, perhaps highlight or even take additional notes on your notes. Have you ever read through your notes later and realized you have no idea what you meant when you wrote them? Doing a quick review while the reading is fresh in your mind to add a few additional details will prevent that from happening. This is also a fantastic time to talk with someone else about what you've read. Bring it up with a classmate who also had to do the same reading, or bring it up at the dinner table. Your parents will be thrilled when you have something to share when they ask you, what did you do at school today? So that is the SQ3R reading method. The more you practice it, the better at it you will become, and the more you will remember when you read. As we wind up this episode, we can say that SQR3 is a study technique. It helps students to read actively and to comprehend what they read easily.